Greetings, and salutations, Geo Nerds. What are these ancient life forms located in Shark Bay in West Australia got to do with? There's something great big asteroid coming to smash the place all up, and this beautiful gemstone. Stick, Stick around, around. You'll, you'll find, find out. out. Well, folks, here we are again, 350 kilometres above Perth, at the same height as one of Electric Jesus' Starlink satellites, and we're looking up towards the Gascoigne and Shark Bay region, because this is where the Woodley Impact Crater is, the Woodley Cattle Station here. Now, I won't kid you, there's nothing to see on the surface. Well, maybe if you've got a good imagination, but nothing really. This has been completely eroded away. And you can see that line of that staining there is actually a line of very low hills. That crater looking structure in the foreground is not it. That's something else. This is actually much larger than that. It takes up the entire area of what we're looking at now and some. So there you go. That area there is the center of the crater. Uh, there's been a lot of testing done there recently. And uh, you can see there's not much to see even down low. So we'll pull back into space and see if we can pick any structure, but you really can't. So let's get on and have a look at some of the stuff that shows us where this thing is. Well, Geo Nodes, the Woodley Impact Crater is a large meteorite crater in Western Australia. It's centered on Woodley Station, just to the east of Shark Bay in the Gascoigne region. The crater is not exposed at the surface because it's very weathered and quite old, but the structure is still there. Its significance was really only realized in 1997 when they got the results of a gravity survey. Now this is a geological map you're seeing here now, and the green section in the middle is the Woodley Formation, which is a big pile of alluvium. Uh, let's have a look at where we are. You can see Shark Bay there and the Hamlin Pool, very famous for its stromatolites. We'll talk about those a bit in the future. This is how big they now think it is after their survey. This thing is huge. It could be one of the bigger craters on Earth. And uh, this is the gravimetric survey. You can see it in the middle there, plain as day. And the outer edge, yeah, with a bit of imagination, you can see that as well. They didn't just use this, they've actually gone out in the field and taken samples. This is an enhanced one, just makes it a little easily on the imagination. But uh, yeah, this thing's there all right. There's quite a bit of gravity coming up here because there's nothing for me to show you on the surface. This is another gravity survey. You can see the uh, coastline overlay there, you can see where it is. Again, that's slightly enhanced, but it just tells the story of what this thing is. So. Um, this thing's fairly old, about 370 million years, they believe. Here it is here, I'll put it up for you again. This is another gravity survey. And these uh, amazing people from Curtin University, like this team here, uh, they went out into that and look at the soil. This stuff is just desert. And they have taken surveys and drill cores. Um, and uh, they know it's there because they found something. There's another one of the team. Megan Fox, her name was, uh, and uh, I read an article she'd written, and I think that's a shot cone she's got there, but I can't quite be sure. Could be an ultramatolite too. And they found this stuff. This is shot quartz. This is quartz that has been hit hard. And they've, um, uh, this stuff requires 30 gigapascals, and there's no force on Earth. They also found this. This is redite. Now, redite's a very rare mineral. Um, and a gem, as you can see, it's pretty nice. And it's an extremely high pressure polymorph of, zir of zircon. So when a zircon is happily sitting in the Earth's crust and something hits it really hard, it turns into redite. And they have found redite in the center section of this crater. So this is definitely an impact crater and a big one. So if we look over here, we'll have a look at the age of this. So you can see it already looks about 70 million years old. It's 370 million years old, but on our old, good old mate here, it'll put it down there in the late Denovian. And it, uh, well, this is what it looks like. It sort of looks 
Oh, 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 the joke's too good just to tell ones. It looks like Mars, but Mars has got a few more trees. Uh, but yes, it certainly is desert, but beautifully stark desert. Uh, there's an awesome roadhouse just up the road. Uh, as most of these roadhouses are awesome, they've got great food and great people. It's also got a caravan park there you can stay in if you want to. And the little towns out there, look, they're not much. They're, they're uh, servicing cattle properties and mining uh, facilities and, you know, anything green is what's being planted. But uh, it's a beautiful part of the world. Uh, Shark Bay is just very, very special and for many reasons. I'm just going to zoom in on a thing called Hamlin Pool in Shark Bay. And Hamlin Pool is one of the few places on Earth where stromatolites still grow. The salinity, the wind, the water temperature all works out and these are stromatolites. Now these things grow at about uh, a metre every two to three thousand years which is about the speed my daughter used to move when I asked her to clean her room up if I remember but these are very fragile things uh, and uh, they've been on the earth for three and a half billion years essentially unchanged. Here the Bahamas and very few places on earth do they exist. So anyway, it's a beautiful impact crater. Uh, that uh, scarlet chested parrot I put up at the beginning, that is also a native of this area, a beautiful creature. So um, yeah, look, if you're over that way, <laughs> you want to be on the way to somewhere, but uh, it's worth having a look uh, at the other stuff there, Shark Bay in particular. If you're going through there, never miss that. And of course, keep rocking. T-Rock's out.